All right, we got breaking news this morning. I was going to start my morning off with the uh, Philadelphia 76ers firing Brett Brown, but we started off with this video. Christoph Porzingis has been ruled out for game five tonight versus the Clippers from Los Angeles. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. It's going to be the Luka show. I think Luka is one of the dopest. I think right now he's the best NBA player uh, playing right now. I know Giannis is playing pretty good as well, but that's a one versus an eight. And for all you Bucks fans out there, or Bucks hater out there, better off, better off say, I may say, remember, Toronto with Kawhi lost to Orlando in round one, game one last year. It went on to win the championship, so don't count the Bucks out yet, man. But yeah, Christoph Porzingis is out with knee soreness. They say it's his other knee uh, that from what he injured in New York, so I'm not sure if that's true or not. But um, but yeah, man, you know, they, I guess they don't want to risk him his future and mess up next season, um, you know, going forward. So, right now, I mean, it ain't do or die. You know what I'm saying? It's tied. You know, you won with Luka. Trey Burke stepping up, go blue. Uh, Tim Hardaway stepping up, go blue. That Philly kid playing pretty well. And, um, you know, pretty much they holding their own. You know, and imagine next year if the Przingis get healthy and Luka, you know, get, you know, continue to physically get better, get stronger, and add to his game, you know, it's going to be curtains. And they add a, a rim protector next to Christoph Porzingis, and they become a better defensive team. They got a good coach in Rick Carlisle. So, I mean, you know, this ain't do or die. This, you know, if had they lost game three um, or game four, uh, then I would be saying, yeah, they probably need to risk Porzingis or they might risk Porzingis. But as long as they stay afloat, you know, they can buy Porzingis more time to be healthy if they can advance. And I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility that they can advance without Christoph Porzingis. Because right now, the way Doc Rivers coaching, the way he coaching the pick and roll and switching it a lot, um, I, I just don't like the way they coach it. He playing a lot of iso ball. He not getting Paul George going. What I would feature Paul George on backdoor cut screens. You know, I would post him up on the block when I get switches on him. I'll try to get him slashing to the rim. I would make Paul George a slasher. And I would try to make him get easy layups going at the rim. And then maybe the ball will start falling. But Doc Rivers is showing his inability to make adjustments, not just game to game, quarter to quarter, minute to minute, possession to possession. But right now, Christoph Porzingis is going to be out um, another game. So I think it's the right move to make. If he ain't healthy and knee soreness can lead to other injuries, look at Jonathan Isaac. People laughed at him because he stood up and then he ended up blowing his knee out. But he had already had a knee injury coming into the bubble. And basically, his injury, his minor injury, became a major injury. And that can easily happen to Christoph Brzingis. And if his, his opposite knee is having knee issues, you do not want him to blow that knee out. And then that investment that you traded for is really pretty much no good. So Christoph Brzingis has been ruled out tonight. But I wouldn't count the Mavs out as long as you got Luka. And that, that ankle probably, it, with sprained ankles like that, the worst time after sprained ankle is the, is the, is the, is the, is the night after. You know what I'm saying? Or, or when you wake up in the morning, it's stiff, and you got to keep it move, moving. Anytime it gets, it, it, you let it sit, it just gets stiff, and it's hard. So um, sometimes it takes a couple of days for it to get used to a, a sprained ankle. But at this point, I'm going to say it was a f game five. Going into game six or seven, his ankle should be almost close to normal, uh, or he will be close to playing with kind of a little bit of tenderness left in it. But Right now, you know, they looking good. If Paul George don't step up or, you know, if Paul George don't step up and Lou Williams have an off night or Kawhi have an off night, at this point, the Clippers really have no answer. Uh, Montrez Hero, he ain't in no shape, and they just don't have nobody off the bench other than Morris or they can go out there and just be hot. So they showing how thin they are. And like I said before, unless Kawhi step up tonight or Paul, and Paul George and Lou Will step up tonight, they're they going to be in trouble. So, they have no answer for Luca, but no Christoph Przingis tonight. Let me know what you guys think. Check out our NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, also got a Facebook group. If you want to join up, join that. All those links in the description. Or if you want to reach out to me for a question, a business inquiry, sponsorship, or whatever it may be, a YouTube question, my line is always open. Twitter is the fastest way. If you want to make a donation, just share the video. But cash out, PayPal, in the description. One time for the one time. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. Goodfellow Sports TV. We go.